Hi, this is Mark from LongIWatch.com, and it's uh, a little year-end video. Usually, I just do a little year-end video thanks, but I thought today I'd make it just a little more interesting and give you a little insight into, you know, what sold well this year, um, and there's really no surprises. So what I'm going to do is I will just give you the top five sellers, uh, and then let me talk about some notable mentions. But before we get to that, again, just thank you. Thank you, everybody, whether you're a customer, subscriber, just a watcher, an occasional viewer of the website, whatever it is, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, it means a lot to me. Again, a business uh, that I've coddled and grown uh, for many years and now with the help of lots of really special people, it's grown into the kind of the monster that it is today. Uh, because it really is a monster and I am certainly not the person pulling all the levers uh, and turning all the dials. I have a lot of people that provide me with uh, tons of help and really keep the machine rolling. Um, so good things this year. Um, your watch, your way, I kicked off. Um, I might have mentioned at the end of last year uh, and then really kicked it off uh, in a, a little more gusto this year. Uh, so uh, I, I didn't count how many customized watches we did. Uh, it's a couple hundred. Um, so really happy uh, with how that's turning out. Uh, I got heavy into the parts market this year, uh, definitely in the middle of the year. Got into not just the crystals. I was doing crystals late last year. I got into bezels, inserts, hands, uh, all that stuff. So really strong there. And then, of course, what I consider my personal, I guess, crowning achievement, if you will, would be the introduction of the Islander brand of wristwatches that uh, just came uh, in September. Uh, and believe it or not, even though they were only launched in September, one of the Islanders, um, the Dual Time Diver, I believe is the one, it was like my number 10 best-selling watch all year, even though it only came out in September. So I got my little list here. Uh, and so I guess I'll just start with number one, go down through number five, and then some notables. So the best-selling watch of the entire year, without a doubt, no surprise, is the Seiko SKX007, which, as you know, has now been announced to have been discontinued. Now, when I said 007, um, I'm really just talking, it was the K2 that was the bestseller, uh, which is the not-made-in-Japan one on the Jubilee bracelet, but the J, the K1, all of them were just extremely popular as well. Um, I think some of them might have actually been in the top five, but for we're just going to say 007 best-selling watch that I had uh, this year. And, you know, no kidding why. It's a beautiful 42, 43-millimeter diver. It's the quintessential dive watch, um, and it just does so many things so well. Number two, what do you think it's going to be? It's the 009. Uh, very similar watch. Very, very dark blue dial. Uh, not black. People think it's going to be a bright blue when they get it. It depends how it's done in photography, but it's really a dark blue dial in that standard uh, classic red and blue Pepsi 60-minute uh, dive bezel. Uh, so the 009 was number two. Number three, a little bit of a surpriser, the Timex Q. Okay, this is in quantity of, of units sold. Uh, the Timex Q was my third most popular watch sold. Uh, so again, this watch came out towards the middle of the year. And I think it caught a lot of people's hearts in the realm of nostalgia. It's small, um, it's got the nice dome crystal, the bi-directional uh, dual time bezel. Uh, it did so many things right. The crummy bracelet that tears at your arm hair that people just flock to, uh, amazing. So that was number three. Number four. We're back to Seiko, the midsize, the 013 diver, the SKX 013. So this is the 38 millimeter diver. Uh, again, just like the 007, it's a classic, except this is the smaller version for people with smaller wrists. And rounding out the fifth spot, another discontinued watch. It's a very sad list, because of the five watches I'm telling you, four are discontinued. The Seiko Sarb 033, that classic sub-40 dress watch with the beautiful black dial. Some people call it the Baby Grand Seiko. It's got the 6R15 movement in it. It's got the Sapphire Crystal. Uh, and even still today, um, as there still are some kicking around, it's still a decent, decent deal for what you're getting. Uh, but again, 
very sad to see that watch go. And again, my, my top five list is very sad, which makes the um, the invention of the Islander all that more important because the Islander kind of takes uh, a lot of those a, a lot of those places. Um, some notable mentions uh, from fifth through ten. Uh, Two of the Mako USA showed up there because uh, we did a great deal on them this year. So sold loads of units there. Like I said, the Islander was actually uh, the Islander 01, the dual time diver, was actually my 10th selling, best selling watch of the whole year. And it only came out uh, in uh, the end of September. Uh, number one accessory. I thought this was interesting. Strap code uh, Super O bracelet. Number one selling accessory in the entire year. Uh, just loads and ro loads of bracelets. Couldn't believe that one. And I will leave you with one last nugget because I generally don't tell people quantities of things that happen. I know I said with the Islanders how many it sold in the first three months. Um, just so you know how important the SKX is, was to my business and still is to my business. The year of 2019, as of today, filming December 30th, I've sold 3,783 SKX watches. That's between sevens, nines, and thirteens. Um, so yeah, there's a little finger finger crack there. So yeah, there's eight different SKUs to be uh, divvied up there. The SKX 7, K1, K2, and J, double nine, K1, K2, and J, and the 013, K1, K2. There never was no 13 J, as far as I know. I know people still think there is, but as far as I know, there never was one. Uh, but still, that's a crap load of watches that's a ton it's over 10 a day so think about what that i'm gonna put that down think about what that watch being discontinued does to my business and you see how important the islander is to me before we finish it up i just quickly what's coming on what's going on with the islander uh, before the middle of january i should be getting in uh two new styles uh, it's a it's a new it's a it's still a familiar case, not the double seven case, not the familiar case, uh, but you know, kind of my own spins on them. I'm trying, trying, trying to get out a different watch again before the middle of January. Uh, I think it's going to happen, and I'll very proudly introduce that. The Islander itself will have more dial colors coming, um, restocks of those that get low on stock, uh, and then there are two other style watches currently in production and those we'll probably see sometimes sometime towards the first second quarter of next year so lots of good stuff going on there everything is still marching along i uh, i guess that's it this uh, has been mark from longhourwatch.com saying thank you for a wonderful 2019 i look forward to seeing you all in 2020 like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below, and I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.